Well, it has been nearly 10 years since a study ranked Charlotte last among the 50 largest U.S. cities in upward mobility. In that time, a Charlotte group has been seeking solutions towards closing the economic mobility gap. For Sherry Chisholm and her family. So we came to Charlotte like many other people do because Charlotte is a community of longtime residents, but also tons of transplants. The move from Detroit signal growth. Yeah, I actually came here in uh, September of 2020, seven months pregnant. Not only personally, but professionally. With the hope of having great jobs where we could grow our career, where we could invest in community. Since 2020, she served as executive director of Leading on Opportunity. So the Leading on Opportunity team is what I would say very reflective of the fabric of Charlotte. Leading on Opportunity was started in 2017 after the Chetty study a few years prior ranked Charlotte and Mecklenburg County at the bottom when it comes to upward mobility. So we provide data, strategy, and policy to funders to help them make smarter investments in economic mobility and those same set of skills to nonprofits to help them deliver programming. And the hope is that we create, create alignment between those two institutions. Since joining the team, Chisholm has helped establish the Opportunity Compass. We look at high school graduation rates, we look at home ownership, um, we look at employment, and we're able to see on two to three year basis, how are we moving across um, demographics? So she says and, it serves as a guide to see how Charlotte is trending when it comes to economic mobility. Um, and it's also something that doesn't have a silver bullet solution. And I think in a community like Charlotte, one that's particularly a banking town, we can sometimes say if we focus on it, and we put a lot of money into it, we're going to solve it. And that's just not how it works. Not only is leading on opportunity continuing to track Charlotte's growth, but Chisholm says at the same time, shifting the narrative. And I think that we've been able to shift the narrative in Charlotte around something that we can solve into rather something that is a condition we will always consider. And that is, that's pretty tremendous. And Chisholm says the next steps are integrating their work into policy. As for Chisholm, the Charlotte Hornets honored her in March as part of the team's social justice power forward program.